Dr. Bakshni. Recapping on our top story this hour, an agreement has been reached to cap university fee increases at 6%. This follows urgent talks between the Higher Education Minister Bladens Monday and university management in Parliament today. Well, poverty experts say the turbulence at universities across the country over unaffordable fees is another manifestation of growing inequality. Only 43% of South Africans work. More than 16 million live on state grants. Over 1.3 million students enrolled for tertiary education. The bulk of them say they cannot afford ever-rising fees. Only 15% of those enrolled make it to graduation. And of those who graduated last year, 66,000 of them are unemployed. Most of National Treasury's allocation of 200 billion rand to higher education is spent on infrastructure. Well, Nozin Tombimiya has been following this story and she's standing by at Vitz University. Nozin Tombi, tell us what's the latest there? Good afternoon to you, Nompu Ziba. We are still outside the Senate House at the Vitz University. The students are still uh, gathering and they're still protesting inside the Senate Hall. Uh, we have quite a number of uh, student representatives from different political parties. With me now is a representative from the DA Youth Party. Uh, as a DA student uh, movement in Vitz, do you support this particular movement? Um, well, we definitely support this particular movement because we feel like the right to a higher education, that's a constitutional right which is enshrined and it belongs to everyone. So it doesn't belong to the rich or the poor, but it's a constitutional right that belongs to everyone. So we feel that um, government should step in, businesses should step in, and they should invest in this right to education because a lot of our parents cannot afford the uh, uh, higher education fees as they currently is. So we definitely support this as the Democratic Alliance Students Organization. So simply where this protest has started since last week Wednesday do you think you've presented yourself enough and you've been vocal enough on the student issues so far We've definitely been vocal enough on student issues. We've definitely been pushing uh, on student issues, um, particularly as the Democratic Alliance Students Organization. We've always been present since Tuesday. This, uh, the, these particular protests still started on Wednesday. We're also going to be having a picket outside of Bladen's in Monday's office um, tomorrow, starting at half past 10. So we've been definitely vocal. We are uh, Is this picket going to happen in Cape Town? Where is that picket going to be happening? The picket is happening in Pretoria. So uh, in Pretoria, half past 10 at Bladen's Monday's office, all DASA organizations will definitely be there and we're going to be asking uh, government to actually subsidize school, um, school fees. Simpiwa, you're with the DA, but Vuyani, you're with the EFF. Do you think that you have done enough to support the student movement? Well, I think the student movement is us. We are the student movement. I don't know what student movement is to support. We are part and parcel of the student movement. Uh, and I think uh, to speak for a political party is problematic, as you've just seen. Yes. Some people are claiming to have been here since Tuesday. We didn't start on Tuesday. I think it's important to keep our eyes on the ball and not speak political parties. Speaking of keeping your eye on the ball, Vuyani, the Minister of Higher Education has said that uh, in an agreement with the Vice Chancellors that they're going to cap the fees at a 6% increase. Are you happy with that? Look, uh, the Minister of Higher Education is missing it. We said 0%, not 6%. I don't know how you can confuse the two. I mean, this is the same minister who's saying there's, a cri there's no crisis. There's definitely a crisis. There are more than three universities that have shut down. How can a minister say there's no crisis? There's definitely a crisis. There's been a crisis since 94. There's been a crisis since 1976. Black people have not been able to enter university. You can't say there's no crisis. Only a drunk man can say that. You see, if my name was played, I was going to cut the fees up to 0%. I was going to cut the fees up to free quality education. If there was ever a time for free quality education, that time is now okay. we don't we don't have time to play that six percent is absolute no so we don't want that nonsense all right so, um, speaking of uh, exams exams are expected to start in about two weeks but we understand that you will be having uh, some musicians uh, celebrities that will be keeping you guys company what is going to be happening tonight well in, on, on on the issue of exams what we have done we have told uh, management because you must remember my sister that the university is under new management we are leading it we are now leading it because the management that we have had no direction. They have no plan. They are running away from us. The university is shut down. They are nowhere to be seen. They are discussing 6% for nothing when we are saying 0%. So basically we have put it to them that as soon as we have gotten our 0%, we want to resume our study program and that is we are going to push exams away 
for a week. If it happens that uh, uh, we enter the exam period uh, still with, uh, with, with this proposal of, of, of a drunk 6%, we're going to uh, study in December and even in Christmas when our, our parents are going to bring the, that mlekwa to us, we will be studying, we're prepared to write exams in China. We're not going to have holidays. That's how prepared we are. We know that what we're doing is not for us only, but for our brothers and sisters in the township, in, 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 in the rural areas. This is not only about the students at university, but those students who are aspiring to enter university. My sister, there's no way you can get doctors, lawyers and teachers that we so desperately need outside of education. The priorities of the government must be education. If you want to take this country forward, you ought to pump money into education. Through education, you're going to get doctors, lawyers and teachers and engineers, those people that we need. If there was ever a time for free quality education, that time is now. Thank you. Very Buyani, much. Uh, before you go away, tomorrow you have a call to action with the universities. What is the plan on that? Well, we don't expose much of our plans. If you are a disciplined uh, force of this movement, we have said that we are going to release information as and when we have agreed as a collective. So we don't talk about when, what we are going to do. When the time is right, we are going to release that to the media. But for, for now, we are taking a break, thinking through what to do, right. and we are planning for tomorrow and, and all of that. All right, thank you so much, Vuyani and Simpiwe, uh, both student leaders for their various political parties. We've heard from them that they fully support the students' decision to not agree to a 10.5% or even a 6% that's been capped off, and they're resolute. They will stand their ground. They will continue protesting up until their demands are met for them to get no fee increase for this year and next year. Back to you, Nompusiziba. Thanks very much. That was uh, Nazim Dombi Mir at West uh, Vitz University.